In the United States, abortion has raised ethical, legal, and political issues in recent decades, and the battle over abortion has outburst once more on June 24, 2022, when the US Supreme Court abolished the constitutional right to abortion. This video presents the complicated history of abortion rights and law in America. Before Abortion Law Abortion has existed since the European colonization of the Americas, during which there was no abortion law at all. From the 13th to 19th century, by the common law, abortion was legal before quickening, the point at which the fetal starts moving, usually at around four or five months of pregnancy. After the United States gained independence from England in 1776, abortion was viewed as socially unacceptable, but not illegal in most states. In the mid-19th century, abortion was widely practiced by American women, primarily by using abortifacients, which are herbs and substances that induce abortion. By some estimates, during that period, up to 35% of all pregnancies ended in abortion. The Rise of Anti-Abortion Laws the first abortion law was codified in the state of Connecticut in 1821 that forbade the use of poisons in abortion. Following Connecticut, other states created similar restrictions on abortion. In 1847, the American Medical Association was founded as an attempt to professionalize the practice of medicine. In 1856, gynecologist Horatio Storer, also an anti-abortion activist, joined the AMA and started to push the association to explore what he called criminal abortion. In 1857, he led the physician's crusade against abortion in the U.S., contributing to the creation of anti-abortion statutes nationwide. In 1873, with the help of Anthony Comstock, a U.S. postal inspector, the Comstock Law was passed, prohibiting the delivery of obscene materials, including information about abortion or contraception. By the early 1900s, abortion was made illegal in every state, some of which included an exception for pregnancies that put the mothers in danger. Path to Roe v. Wade Over the next several decades, despite legal punishments, abortion continued to occur, mostly underground. The prevalence of unsafe, illegal abortions led to the increasing death toll with an estimated number of almost 2,700 women dying in 1930. In 1964, Jerry Santoro, an American woman who died due to an illegal abortion, became the symbol of an abortion rights movement. By 1972, abortion laws were reformed nationwide. Specifically, 30 states deemed abortion illegal without exception. 16 states deemed abortion legal in certain special circumstances. Four states allowed abortion upon request. Roe v. Wade In 1973, the U.S. Supreme Court repealed all existing criminal abortion laws with its landmark Roe v. Wade decision. The Roe v. Wade case was named after Jane Roe, or Norma McCorvey, living in Texas. At that time, she wanted an abortion but was turned down because Texas law deemed it illegal except when necessary to save the mother's life. After Roe bore her illegitimate daughter and put her up for adoption, she, with the help of her attorneys Sarah Weddington and Linda Coffey, filed a lawsuit against her local district attorney, Henry Wade alleging that Texas's abortion laws were unconstitutional. On January 22, 1973, the Supreme Court issued a 7-2 decision in favor of Jane Roe, holding that a pregnant woman has a fundamental right to abortion. The decision was made together with a closely linked case, Doe v. Bolton, regarding Georgia's abortion laws. The court also imposed a trimester framework as an attempt to balance women's rights to privacy and the state government's interests in protecting women's health and parental life. Roe v. Wade Overturned In the 1992 Planned Parenthood v. Casey, the Supreme Court, while upholding the constitutional right to abortion, overturned the trimester framework and articulated an undue burden standard. In 2021, the Women's Health Protection Act was introduced by Congresswoman Judy Chu, aiming to codify abortion rights into federal law. However, the bill was passed in the House of Representatives, but rejected by the Senate. On June 24, 2022, both Roe and Casey were overruled by the Supreme Court in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization on the ground that the Constitution does not confer a right to abortion, marking an end to the federal abortion rights and returning the authority to regulate abortion to individual states. Upon the ruling, 
abortion bans are expected to occur in roughly half the states, especially in some Republican-led states. The decision is once again igniting the legal battles between anti-abortion activists and abortion rights activists within and beyond the United States. Thanks for watching. If you find this information useful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos of history.